everyone, and welcome to this week's top 10. This week, we are sharing top 10 answers for Microsoft Word. Now, I know that most of us use all kinds of tips that we think everybody knows. What I found out is everyone does not know all the tips that you know. So we went on Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, and we gathered these top 10 tips for Microsoft Word. The first one is the one that I shared, and I know that a bunch of you actually sent me a note saying, I didn't know that, Rhonda. So I'm going to share it again. My favorite is Control A, and Control A is select all. So if I'm working with a document and I want to quickly change the font, the margins, some formatting that I just want to set up for this particular, for the entire document, instead of having to click and drag or whatever, just do a quick control A, select all, do whatever change that you want to do. And it makes it really quick. The second tip we have today is from Laura Thewitt and she's in Houston. And Laura says to get rid of the auto formatting of bullets by selecting that hidden paragraph mark, that little P at the end of the bulleted text. Now I tell you, leave it on. And it's very much like the reveal codes that some of us remember back in the word perfect days. So it's a little double P and you just leave it on and it shows you all of the weird automatic auto formatting things. Like there's extra lines, if there's extra stuff like that. So it's kind of a, for those of us that remember reveal codes, you're going to love that uh, the auto formatted bully by selecting the hidden paragraph mark. Carrie Middlestat from Edmonton says, uh, really recommends that she uh, uses the styles feature in Word, which I'm sure we're all familiar with, but sometimes we just go, oh, I'll just quickly do it this way. But if you use the styles, you can use consistent formatting throughout the entire document, and you can do a table of contents just like that. One of the most popular recommendations, and it was from many of you, so no shout out on this, but lots of names, was the Format Painter. And that Format Painter is that little paintbrush that we use. And what you do is you click the Format Painter, you paint what you want to copy, and it copies the format. And then you paint what you want that formatting to be. So it's not a select all like Control A. It's, I like this, make it here. Now, for those of you that are keyboard lovers like I am, Control Shift C is your little paintbrush. And if you want to leave it on permanently, so I like this, I want to paint this, 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 just double click your format painter. And then it stays on until you click it to deactivate it again. Kay Leberts has a tip that has saved her sanity. And I did not know this one. So this is a good one. So if you find your doc in your file explorer that you want to open, instead of double clicking it, right click and then select open. If you double click it, what you do is you create a new document and then you have to save it again and delete the old template. So when you're looking for your templates, find it, right click, open, and then you're right into your template. So that's it. it sounds like an extra step, but it's actually going to save you a couple steps along the way. Lisa Lastly Cohen from Tennessee says that if you have a web article that you want to share and you don't want all the hyperlinks that are inside the document, all you need to do is uh, collect, select control A, which is select all so to select the entire document, and then control shift F9. Control shift F9 removes all of the hyperlinks. And so you can just send the document without all of those links there. Now, another, I wanted to add kind of a bonus one to this because we had so many good tips. Uh, Control K allows you to use a hyperlink within any Word document. Also works in email as well, also works in OneNote. And so Control K will allow you to uh, hyperlink to a document, to a picture that you have in your pictures file, to a Dropbox, to an iCloud, something like that. So Control K, puts it in, control shift nine, takes out all the links that you have. Tanya Beatty says that she loves the compare feature under review. So if someone isn't using track changes, you can use the compare and compare the old and the new document. And it shows you the original and a final. And then you can see the end and, and see what the actual edits are. So very much like um, a track changes when somebody doesn't use it. Another crazy popular one that I would be lost without is control Z or control Z, undo. And how many of us have done control Z, 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 or Z, 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 and like backed up quite a few steps. So that works up until the last save. So control Z, control Z. 
Leanne Ziegler Lewis in Seattle loves quick parts for those repetitive things. So if you have repetitive phrases or paragraphs or you want different signature lines or in times of COVID, we're only in the office Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you know, that sort of stuff. You don't want it to be there all the time. Insert them as, as quick parts. And for those of you who liked the reference to reveal codes back in the days, those were mini macros. And so quick parts is exactly the same thing. And you can add them in. They just are called something different because it's a different provider. And the last one is from Maggie Jacobs. And she loves to hold down the alt key with the up and down arrows. So alt up or down arrows to move bullets to different lines versus copy and paste. So if you had three bullets and you wanted the second one to be in the, uh, the third one to be in the second place, you wouldn't have to copy it, cut it and paste it. You alt arrow up and it automatically moves up your lists of bullets. So there's some, hopefully a couple of new little tips for you. Love the nice, quick, simple things, 10 at a time so that you can implement a new one every day or implement a new one every week if you want. And so what we really want to know is uh, what are your Microsoft Office tips? So in the bottom of this YouTube video, Microsoft Word tips on the bottom of this YouTube video, please plop them in there for us. Look forward to next week's top 10.